did my guy dirty. They did my guy dirty. Anybody who knows me um, knows that, you know, between Kobe and Allen Iverson, those two guys were always my favorite basketball players. When you talk about anybody in the NBA, those two were guys I wanted to play like. When I was playing basketball, if it wasn't Allen Iverson, then it was Kobe. If it wasn't Kobe, then I was trying to be like Allen Iverson in terms of the way I was playing basketball when I was growing up. But the 76ers, they were on, they honored Allen Iverson, the 76ers organization, and they revealed his statue this past weekend. Now, <laughs> the statue is a freaking joke, man. It's a freaking joke. <laughs> I'm trying hard to watch my language as I express myself because, you know, I've been trying to do better at that. But I can't believe they did a legend like this. They did Allen Iverson like this, gave him a statue. I kid you not, this statue looks like Calvin Cambridge from Like Mike. It's a damn shame how they did this, man. This is Allen Iverson, one of the greatest 76ers to ever play the game. And they gave him a statue that looks like Calvin Cambridge. And apparently, now the 76ers, they've been trying to, what they do with their statues is, they make it like life size or whatever, however they described it when they released Allen Iversons. They try and make all the, the height and the model of the statues like physical size, life size. That way it's somewhat realistic. I don't know. It's their little weird trademark that they've been doing for some time. They did it with Charles Barkley. They did it with Dr. J. They did it with everybody else who has a statue. It's like life size. And there's a, I think, um, don't quote me on this, but I think it's Maurice Cheeks as well. He has a small statue and his looks, it looks kind of funny because it's so small. But bro, this Allen Iverson one, it, it looks like a joke, man. It looks like um, it looks like a bobblehead figure. <laughs> it looks like I'm just trying to give you an idea, but bro, it looks terrible, bro. And I was just saddened because when they released the video, everybody was hyped. They're like, "Oh, Allen Iverson statue, cool, whoa, whoa." And I'm like, "All right, so ain't nobody gonna really speak their mind on what, how silly this shit look, huh? Y'all not gonna speak your mind and say this looks ridiculous." I'm like, come on, man. To hell with that. They did my boy. They, that's not even Allen Iverson in that statue. That's Calvin Cambridge for for the uh, the Los Angeles Knights. That's who that is. The Los Angeles Knights, Calvin Cambridge. He got a statue in Philadelphia. And you know what? I'm glad at least one of these legends could be honored in this past weekend. Because if it's not Allen Iverson, I'll take Calvin Cambridge, bro. He led the Knights to the playoffs. At least he helped one organization get to the playoffs. And he had an incredible run through that entire season that he was playing and like Mike. So, you know, Calvin Cambridge, salute to you getting the statue in Philadelphia. I know you're honored. Bow Wow, I'm sure you're honored for playing such a great character. So, hey, at least, at least it didn't go to waste. At least when I go to a Philadelphia 76ers game, I can show my kid and say, that's a legend right there. That is Calvin Cambridge of, of, the, of the Los Angeles Knights. <laughs> this is crazy.